Have you ever felt the weight of the world on your shoulders, searching for a strength beyond your own? In Psalm 135, we find more than just words. We encounter a mighty song of God's unfailing love and unshakable power. A reminder that no battle we face is greater than His will, and no struggle we bear is beyond His compassion. In these verses lies a treasure, one that saints and believers of old clung to and found victory in, knowing that God's power moves mountains and His love shields us even in our darkest valleys. Join us as we walk through this psalm of triumph, letting each word be an anchor for your soul, a balm for your spirit, and a guiding light in the shadows. Together, we'll explore, learn, and pray with Psalm 135, finding strength not in ourselves, but in a love that never fails and a God who never abandons. So take this journey with us, and let's rediscover the boundless strength and grace that only He can offer. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise Him, O ye servants of the Lord. Ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, praise the Lord. For the Lord is good. Sing praises unto His name, for it is pleasant. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto Himself, and Israel for His peculiar treasure. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. Whatsoever the Lord pleased, that did he in heaven and in earth, in the seas and all deep places. He causeth the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings for the rain. He bringeth the wind out of his treasuries. Who smote the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast. Who sent tokens and wonders into the midst of thee, O Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants. Who smote great nations and slew mighty kings. Sihon king of the Amorites, and Og king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, and gave their land for an heritage, an heritage unto Israel his people. Thy name, O Lord, endureth forever, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. For the Lord will judge his people, and he will repent himself concerning his servants. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. They that make them are like unto them. So is everyone that trusteth in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. Ye that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, which dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 135 is not just a recitation, but a hymn of defense, a powerful shield that calls us to lift our hearts to the Lord and find peace, strength, and purpose in His love and power. This psalm is our reminder that in every season, in every battle, and in every moment, God is with us. It's a psalm that invites us into the very courts of His presence to stand, to praise, and to trust in the unshakable strength of our Creator. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. We begin with the command to praise, an action that opens our hearts, a declaration of who God is. This is more than an instruction. It's a call to engage with the holy, to speak of God's greatness, not just in words, but in the depth of our hearts. Praising the Lord isn't just reserved for times of ease, but is a stance, a posture that says, Lord, I see you, I honor you, even when life feels uncertain. Here, the act of praise itself becomes a powerful weapon against fear, reminding us that our God is greater than our trials. Ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Picture this scene. We are invited not just to observe, but to stand in the holy courts of God, right before His presence. This isn't a fleeting moment. It's an eternal truth that we, as His children, are welcomed into His protection. Just as the ancient priests stood in reverence, we too are called to stand firm, knowing that His presence surrounds us as a wall of fire. In His courts, we are shielded. In His courts, we find peace. Father, 
May I always remember that you are near, that I am surrounded by your love, even when I feel alone. For the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. Here, the psalmist reminds us of God's goodness, a goodness that surpasses all understanding. This isn't just a description, it's a truth to hold on to. In a world filled with shifting shadows and changing tides, God's goodness is the foundation that keeps us steady. It's not just that He is good. His goodness is delightful, pleasant, a comfort that speaks peace to our hearts. Lord, thank You for Your goodness that knows no end, for being my place of rest and joy. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto Himself and Israel for His peculiar treasure. This verse speaks to God's choice, His personal calling of His people. Imagine, the Creator of the universe calls you His treasure. It's a love so profound that it lifts us out of the ordinary, a love that claims us as His own. In times of struggle, when the world's opinion weighs heavy, remember that you are chosen by God Himself. Thank you, Lord, for calling me your treasure, for seeing me as worthy of your love and protection. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. Here, the psalmist declares a truth that anchors us. God is supreme, above all powers, above all earthly concerns. This isn't just belief, it's conviction. We don't serve a small, limited God. We serve the Almighty, the one who rules above every force, every worry, every fear. When life seems overwhelming, when doubts creep in, we return to this truth. Lord, you are greater than anything I face. Your power has no limit, and in you I am safe. Whatsoever the Lord pleased that did he in heaven and in earth in the seas and all deep places. God's authority extends over all creation, from the heavens above to the depths of the earth. This verse isn't just a description, it's a reminder that God's will is sovereign. There is no place beyond His reach, no situation beyond His power. Knowing this gives us a confidence that no matter what unknowns lie ahead, God's hand is present guiding, protecting, orchestrating every detail. Father, let me find rest in Your sovereignty, in the knowledge that nothing happens outside of Your will. Who smote the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast, who sent tokens and wonders into the midst of thee, O Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants. These verses recount God's mighty acts, his deliverance of his people from bondage. Just as he rescued Israel, he rescues us today, breaking every chain, bringing us out of spiritual captivity. Each act of deliverance in Scripture is a promise that he will act on our behalf. Lord, you are my deliverer. Just as you fought for Israel, fight for me. Break the chains that bind me and lead me into your freedom. Who smote great nations and slew mighty kings? Sihon king of the Amorites and Og king of Bashan and all the kingdoms of Canaan and gave their land for an heritage and heritage unto Israel his people. Here we see the God who is victorious over all no power, no king, no enemy could stand against him. This is our assurance. The same God who defended Israel defends us now. Every obstacle we face, every fear, every doubt must bow before him. He fights for us. He defends us. He claims victory on our behalf. Lord, be my fortress, my defender. Go before me and make a way, just as you did for your people of old. Thy name, O Lord, endureth forever, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. God's name is eternal, unchanging. Every generation has called upon his name and found refuge from the ancient prophets to the saints of today. His name is a strong tower, a place of safety. When we call upon him, we are joining a legacy of believers who have found hope, strength, and victory in his name. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of my forefathers, be my refuge and my strength. Let me carry your name with reverence and trust. For the Lord will judge his people, and he will repent himself concerning his servants.
This verse speaks of God's mercy, His compassion. He knows our weaknesses, He understands our struggles, and in His mercy, He shows us kindness. Even in judgment, He remembers mercy, offering forgiveness and love. When we falter, when we feel unworthy, we can rest in His compassion. Lord, thank You for Your mercy, for seeing my heart even when I fall short. Lift me, guide me, hold me close. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. In a world filled with false idols, wealth, status, and earthly success, we are reminded that these things cannot save, cannot heal, cannot protect. True peace, true strength, true purpose come only from God. These idols have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Only God, the living God, hears our prayers, knows our hearts, and walks beside us. Lord, let me put my trust in you alone, for you are the only true source of life and hope. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. Ye that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. This is our call, our invitation, to bless the Lord with all that we are to stand as His people, chosen and beloved, and to lift our voices in praise. Let every household, every heart, every soul bless the Lord. Let our praises rise like incense, pleasing and precious to the One who watches over us. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, which dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord. This final call is a declaration, a joyful exclamation of God's presence among His people. Zion is more than a place. It's the heart where God's presence abides. And as His people, we are invited into that presence, into that holy place where we find peace, power, and purpose. Lord, dwell with me, abide in me. May my life be a praise to you, my every breath, a testimony of your love and faithfulness. Psalm 135 is our anthem of strength, our fortress of protection. Each verse is a reminder that we are never alone, that we are held, shielded and loved by a God who is both mighty and merciful. As we close, let us hold this psalm close to our hearts, letting it be our prayer, our praise and our declaration. In God's unfailing love and unending power, we find all that we need. Let us pray together. Lord, may Psalm 135 be the song of my life, a melody of trust and faith in you. Guard me, guide me, and may your name be forever on my lips. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise him, O ye servants of the Lord. Ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, praise the Lord. For the Lord is good, Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself, and Israel for his peculiar treasure. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. Whatsoever the Lord pleased, that did he in heaven and in earth, in the seas and all deep places. He causeth the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth, he maketh lightnings for the rain. He bringeth the wind out of his treasuries. Who smote the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast. Who sent tokens and wonders into the midst of thee, O Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants. Who smote great nations and slew mighty kings. Sihon king of the Amorites and Og king of Bashan and all the kingdoms of Canaan and gave their land for an heritage, an heritage unto Israel his people. Thy name, O Lord, endureth forever, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. For the Lord will judge his people, and he will repent himself concerning his servants. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. They that make them are like unto them, so is everyone that trusteth in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. Ye that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, which dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord.
As we reflect on the power of Psalm 135, let this prayer rise within us, a plea for God's protection, a declaration of His strength, and a call to dwell in His unfailing love. This is more than a prayer. It's a shield, a banner, and a place of refuge. With each word, we step into the holy courts of God, finding peace, confidence, and victory in His unshakable presence. Let our voices rise to heaven, knowing that as we pray, we stand under the watchful eyes of the Almighty, the defender of His people. Lord, we come before you in reverence and awe, declaring the truths of Psalm 135 over our lives, knowing that you alone are our source of strength, our fortress and our protection. As we pray, let every word be a weapon against darkness, every breath a sign of faith, and every thought anchored in the assurance of your love and power. We come not in our own strength, but standing firm in the promises you have given us. We take shelter, Lord, under your wings, where fear is cast away and peace fills our souls. Praise be to you, O Lord, for you are good. Your name is holy, and your love endures forever. We lift up our hearts in praise, echoing the words of this psalm, knowing that when we praise, we are aligning ourselves with the truth of who you are, a God who is mighty to save, a Father who is slow to anger and abounding in love. Lord, you have called us to praise you, to lift your name above all else. Today, we declare that no power, no fear, no enemy will steal our praise, for our praise is our strength, a reminder that you are greater than anything we face. Father, as we stand here, we do so knowing that we are chosen by you, called to be your people, your treasure. You, who have called Jacob as your own, have also called us. We are yours, Lord. We are not alone, for your love surrounds us like a fortress. We find strength in knowing that you see us, that we are your beloved, that we are guarded and cherished, May this truth sink deep into our hearts, that nothing can separate us from your love and care. God, you are above all powers, above all rulers, above every force that tries to rise against us. In this moment, we declare your supremacy over every worry, every trial, every enemy that seeks to bring us down. You are the King of kings, the Lord above all. As we pray, we ask for your strength to flood our souls, reminding us that we are not fighting alone, for you go before us and you stand beside us. You are our defender and we cling to you with every part of our being. Father, as you have shown your power throughout history, we ask that you show your power in our lives today. Just as you brought Israel out of bondage and defeated mighty kings and nations on their behalf, we ask that you move on our behalf. Break the chains that bind us, Lord. Silence the voices of the accuser, the one who seeks to instill fear, doubt, and despair. We pray that every force of darkness, every plot of the enemy, would be dismantled and thrown down by the power of your mighty hand. Be our shield, O God, our strong tower against every attack, every fear, every whisper of doubt. We stand upon your word, Lord, knowing that your promises are true. You have said that those who trust in you will never be put to shame. So here we are, Lord, with hearts wide open, trusting in your faithfulness. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. As you have delivered your people time and time again, so too will you deliver us from every snare, every trap, every hidden threat. You are our deliverer, Lord, and we find safety in your embrace. In the midst of life's battles, we declare your name over every situation. We declare your name over our homes, over our families, over our thoughts, and over our hearts. In your name, there is peace that silences fear. In your name, there is light that overcomes the darkest night. In your name, there is a fortress that cannot be shaken. We declare, Lord, that we belong to you, that no enemy, no force of darkness, no storm has the power to remove us from the safety of your hands. Father, just as you have created the heavens and the earth, you are the one who holds all things together. You cause the winds to blow and the rain to fall. You command the seas and the mountains. 
Nothing happens outside of your will, and nothing is too great or too small for you. So we trust in your sovereignty, Lord, in your divine ability to see what we cannot see and to know what we cannot know. Guide our steps, O God, and may we walk in the light of your wisdom, knowing that every step we take is ordered by your love. When we face challenges that feel overwhelming, we remind ourselves that you are a God of miracles. You turned water into wine, gave sight to the blind, healed the sick, and raised the dead. No situation is beyond your reach, Lord. You see every obstacle, every fear, every tear, and you move mountains on behalf of those you love. We ask, Lord, for your hand to move in our lives, for your power to break through in miraculous ways, that we may see your glory and know that you are with us. Lord, we stand against every form of darkness, every lie of the enemy, every force that tries to undermine our faith. We ask for your light to expose every deception, to reveal the truth of your word, and to remind us of your promises. May every false word, every doubt, every accusation fall silent in the presence of your truth. Strengthen our hearts, O God, and let us hold fast to your promises, knowing that you are faithful to fulfill every word you have spoken. We lift up our hearts, Lord, for those moments when we feel weak, when life feels heavy, when hope seems distant. Remind us that your strength is made perfect in our weakness, that you are our sustainer, our helper and our guide. Let us rest in the knowledge that we do not walk this path alone, for you are with us every step of the way. We pray, Father, when I am weak, you are strong. When I am fearful, you are my courage. When I feel lost, you are my guide. As we face each day, Lord, we ask for your presence to be with us, to cover us, to go before us, and to stand behind us. We pray that your angels would surround us, guarding us from harm, leading us in paths of righteousness. Protect our minds, Lord, from thoughts that would steal our peace. Protect our hearts from fears that would rob our joy. Let your peace fill every corner of our lives, calming every storm, quieting every worry and bringing rest to our souls. We ask, Lord, that you give us eyes to see as you see, hearts to love as you love, and strength to stand firm in the face of trials. Let us be lights in a world of darkness, reflections of your love and carriers of your peace. Let us be known not by our strength, but by your strength in us, not by our wisdom, but by the wisdom you give, not by our might, but by your spirit. We ask, Lord, that you use us to bring hope, to speak life, and to point others to your unfailing love. Father, we declare that every day is a new opportunity to trust you, to lean on you, and to walk in the power of your Spirit. May we be people who rise up, who hold fast to faith, who are not swayed by the winds of circumstance, but are rooted in the truth of your word. May we be people who stand in the face of adversity, knowing that our strength is not our own, but yours, and that we are secure in the shadow of your wings. We thank you, Lord, for being our constant, our refuge, and our rock. Thank you for loving us so deeply, for holding us so securely, and for fighting on our behalf. May we always find our strength, our courage, and our peace in you alone. As we go forward, let Psalm 135 be our anthem, our prayer, our declaration that you are our God, mighty in power and steadfast in love. In Jesus' name, we pray with faith, with hope, and with unwavering trust in your goodness. Amen. As we prepare to pray through Psalm 135 one last time, let us bring our hearts fully into his presence, embracing each word as a promise a song of victory, a powerful shield for our lives. In this psalm, we find our confidence in God's love and his unbreakable protection. Let us pray together, letting each verse become an anchor of peace and strength. And as we finish, we'll offer a prayer of gratitude, lifting our thanks to the one who holds us in his mighty hands and surrounds us with his everlasting love. Praise ye the Lord! 
Praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise him, O ye servants of the Lord. Lord, we come before you, praising your name. We lift our voices as your servants, acknowledging that you alone are worthy of all our worship. You are our refuge, our strength. Your name is holy, powerful, a shield against all that seeks to harm us. Ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to stand in your courts, to be near to you. There in your presence we find our true home, our place of peace. Draw us closer, Lord, so that every fear, every burden is lifted away by the strength of your presence. For the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. Lord, we declare that you are good, and your mercy endures forever. In our praises we find joy. In singing to you we find peace. Thank you, Father, for the delight of knowing you, for the beauty of your goodness that fills our hearts with gratitude. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself, and Israel for his peculiar treasure. We thank you, Lord, for choosing us, for calling us your treasured people. You know us by name, you see us, and you hold us as your own. In a world that feels uncertain, we rest in knowing we are chosen, loved and protected by you. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. Lord, you alone are great. You are greater than any fear, greater than any enemy, greater than any struggle we may face. We take refuge in your greatness, in the power of your name. Every worry, every doubt, every fear fades in the light of your majesty. Whatsoever the Lord pleased, that did he in heaven and in earth, in the seas and all deep places. Father, you are sovereign over all creation. The skies, the seas, the earth, all obey your command. Nothing escapes your gaze, nothing happens beyond your will. We surrender our lives to you, trusting that you guide us with wisdom, that you watch over us with love who smote the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast, who sent tokens and wonders into the midst of thee, O Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants. You are our deliverer, Lord, mighty in battle and faithful in love. Just as you defended Israel, so too do you stand by us today, ready to rescue, ready to fight on our behalf. Protect us, O God, from all harm, from every attack, from all darkness who smote great nations and slew mighty kings, Sihon king of the Amorites and Og king of Bashan and all the kingdoms of Canaan. You are victorious, Lord, over every king, every nation, every force that rises against you. And as your people, we find safety in your victory. Just as you conquered mighty kings, so too will you conquer every fear, every threat that comes our way. Thy name, O Lord, endureth forever, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. Your name is eternal, Lord. From generation to generation, you are our rock, our salvation, our refuge. You are the God of our ancestors, the God who has always been faithful. We hold fast to your name, knowing it will never fail us. For the Lord will judge his people, and he will repent himself concerning his servants. You are a just God, full of mercy and compassion. You know our hearts, you see our struggles, and you extend your hand of grace to lift us up. We are safe in your care, protected under your justice, blessed by your mercy. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. Lord, we turn away from the false idols of this world, the things that cannot save, cannot heal, cannot comfort. We place our trust solely in you, the living God, the one who hears, the one who saves, the one who gives life. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. Ye that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. We bless you, Lord. We join with all those who have come before us, all who have called upon your name, all who have known your faithfulness, we bless you with all that we are, lifting our voices in praise and thanksgiving. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, which dwelleth at Jerusalem. 
praise ye the Lord Lord, may our hearts be like Zion, a place where your presence dwells, a place where your name is lifted high. We praise you, Father, for you are good, you are faithful, you are worthy of all honor and praise. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we have prayed through Psalm 135, we are reminded of your unending faithfulness, your limitless power, and your everlasting love. You are our protector, our refuge, our defender against all harm. Lord, we lift up our hearts in gratitude for the ways you shield us, for the ways you guard us, even when we are unaware. Thank you, Lord, for your love that surrounds us like a fortress, for the mercy that meets us each morning, and for the peace that fills our hearts even in the midst of storms. You are our safe place, our shelter from every trial, every fear, every struggle. When the world feels uncertain, we find our security in you. Father, let our hearts rest in the knowledge that we are never alone, that you walk with us, that you stand beside us as our protector and guide. Lord, we thank you for your unfailing presence, for being with us in every season of life. You are there in the joyful moments, celebrating with us, and in the hard moments carrying us through. Thank you for being the constant, unwavering source of strength we can depend on. As we go about our daily lives, remind us of your closeness, your nearness, that we might walk each step with confidence, knowing that we are held by you. We ask, Lord, that you continue to shield us from all harm, that you surround our families, our homes, our minds and our hearts with your protection. Guard us, Father, from the lies of the enemy, from the traps set to lead us astray. Strengthen our faith that we might stand firm against every challenge, every doubt, every fear. Let us be unwavering, anchored in your love, certain in your promises, grounded in your truth. Thank you, Lord, for the assurance that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, for the promise that you are our shield, our defender, our victory. Let our lives reflect the power of your protection, that others may see and know that you, Lord, are a faithful God who watches over his people. May our trust in you be a testimony of your greatness, a light that draws others to seek you. Father, in your great love, Continue to guide us, to teach us, to lead us in paths of righteousness. Let us walk in obedience, in faith, in courage, knowing that with you, we lack nothing. Be our guide, our wisdom, our comfort. Let every fear, every worry, every shadow fall away in the light of your presence. We thank you, Lord, for your protection, your provision, your peace. We thank you for your strength that upholds us, for your grace that carries us, for your love that never fails. As we close this time of prayer, we offer our hearts to you, surrendered and trusting, knowing that in your hands we are safe, secure, and loved. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray with hearts full of gratitude and praise. Amen. Thank you for walking this journey with us, for lifting your heart to God through Psalm 135, and for reaching the end of this sacred time together. By joining in this prayer, you've embraced the powerful shield of his love and the strength of his protection. This is more than just words. It's a fortress we build together, a sanctuary of faith where we meet God and stand unshaken. If this message has touched your spirit, take a moment to share your intentions in the comments below. Let us pray over your hopes, your fears, your loved ones. There's a powerful bond in shared prayer. And by joining together, we invite the Holy Spirit to move among us, strengthening and comforting every heart. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and join this family of faith. Each new member, each prayer lifted, adds to this beautiful community we are building together, centered in God's Word, filled with His love. Liking this video and sharing it helps others to find this same strength, this same peace in His presence. For those who feel led, any gift or donation helps us continue this ministry, spreading God's promises to more hearts and providing a space for those seeking strength and peace in Him. Each gift is a seed sown in faith, allowing us to grow this mission of prayer and hope. 
Return to this psalm often. Pray it with us again, each time drawing closer, letting the words sink deeper into your heart. Let Psalm 135 become your anthem, a declaration of God's enduring love and unbreakable power over every part of your life. May every visit remind you that you are never alone, that His love surrounds you, and that His protection is your constant companion. Thank you, dear friends, for being with us, for lifting up this prayer, and for bringing your faith and hope to this community. We can't wait to pray with you again, to seek God together, and to watch His love unfold in our lives. God bless you, keep you, and strengthen you in every moment.